want to. Welcome to another ECMID television broadcast well in advance of ECMID 2017. I'm Michael Jackson, your host of ECMID television, and I'm delighted to have joining us all the way from Dundee in Scotland, Professor Dilip Nathwani, who's a consultant in infection. He's the Honorary Professor of Infection at the University of Dundee, as well as being Chairman of the Scottish Antimicrobial Prescribing Group, a past Chair of the European Study Group on Antibiotic Practices, and President of the British Society for Antimicrobial Chemotherapy. He's got an awful lot of credentials that would last longer than the interview if I read them all to you. I'm most impressed by the fact that he's got over 225 peer-reviewed publications out there, and he contributes extensively to both European and international infection guidelines. Professor, what a pleasure to have you with us on ECMA Television. How are you, sir? I'm very good, Michael, and it's a pleasure to talk with you, and thank you for that very generous and, and kind introduction. Well, one of the things that I personally love about ECMID now, in my third ECMID, and I know you've attended uh, many previous incantations, this one coming up being our 27th, is that I really do get to spend time with some very eminent people, sir. And you certainly qualify in that degree in, in many, many instances. I mean, we're thrilled at ECMID that you're coming with us. What are you going to be doing at ECMID 2017? Well, first and foremost, I'm, it's an absolute pleasure and, and honor to... Uh, address um, the forthcoming ECMID in Vienna as a plenary speaker. Um, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there for uh, those four days, contribute on a variety of levels, and I'm particularly excited about speaking about my passion. And my passion is how do we address through better prescribing the incredible devastating crisis that we have in front of us around antimicrobial resistance. Recognized, as you will be aware, Michael, by the recent UN General Council. Yes. And I'm absolutely delighted that not only us as healthcare professionals, but the governments, media, politicians, and the civic society really get the problem of, of antibiotic resistance. And what I particularly want to talk about is how do we bring about the change in better prescribing not only across the resource-rich, perhaps European, North American communities, but across the global communities. And, and that is going to be a focus uh, of my presentation. You are a recognized expert, sir, in best infection practice guidelines as well. Um, and I hear that you're impressed that your topic really has now become mainstream beyond the reach of just ECMID, but as you say, touching even global news agencies now. This, it's, a, it's a big area that we're talking about. Absolutely, Michael. And I, I can perhaps share with our community some incredible statistics that if we do nothing about antimicrobial resistance, by 2050, a staggering one in three people persons will die of a drug-resistant infection because of antimicrobial resistance. Can you imagine the legacy that we as a community will leave that for our children and grandchildren? And I think that we need to do something about this now. And one of the things that I plan to talk about is how better prescribing through the concept of stewardship is one of the 10 key recommended solutions for our fight against uh, antimicrobial resistance. And you're going to be highlighting all of those 10 within your plenary paper, sir? No, I'm going to highlight one of those 10, is the prescribing and how we improve prescribing, and <coughs> uh, around human prescribing. And, and, and you know, again, the people will be aware that if you take all human prescribing, up to 50% of that will be unnecessary or inappropriate. Isn't that a staggering statistic that it's, we are really abusing these agents uh, to our detriment? It is remarkably amazing at that level. I mean, you know, but we're, we're talking of changing behaviors here, sir. That's one of the, the key aspects. And changing behavior is never an easy thing to put forward to a larger population of people. Well, absolutely. And, and you would have said that exactly if you'd said to me 20 years ago about smoking behavior, yes. about alcohol behavior, about, and certainly in my country, when you go and drive, you put a, a, a seat belt on. All of those things we as a community said were not possible. 
in many parts of the world now they are routine normal practice so what i want to challenge our global audience there will be global people who will be coming at this conference is what are some of my thoughts around actually how you change that behavior there are a number of initiatives there are this regulation there is accreditation there is surveillance the measurement of the problem and then seeing how we improve but what i really want to concentrate on is if we want to improve the quality of prescribing and reduce the quantity of prescribing we've got to learn from a range of social sciences disciplines from psychology from organizational factors process factors and behavioral science to bring about that change in behavior to really ensure that what we have doesn't only occur for a short time michael but it's sustainable so one example in a nutshell would be if something works we want to understand why it works for how long does it work what are the drivers for it working and and what are the things that actually we understand that will make it work for a particular healthcare community and cultural factors are and resource factors are very much important part of that so what we may say works in europe may not be applicable to a south asian country or a south african country so i think all of these considerations are at the heart of my talk what's the single biggest takeaway that your audience members will be receiving from you as a result of your keynote sir how you bring about implementation of sustainable change in the countries across the globe would be my key message fantastic and it's an absolute honor to be with you at ecmed i'm sure that all of us are looking forward to attending your session sir i wish you well with your travels there and when we get to meet each other live we can take this conversation a great deal further and hopefully do more here on ecmed tv as well well thank you very much for allowing me to participate in ecmed tv and i look forward to speaking with everyone and you take care professor nathwani it's been an absolute pleasure thank you very much indeed sir all the best michael take care and let me just click off the recording there.